Hello, thank you for joining me. Today I wanted to talk about a random idea that I've had for quite a while and have just now gotten around to testing out. The idea of using different colors of stranded embroidery floss held together and wound on a tatting shuttle to make simple rings only flowers. In a previous video we talked about using variegated thread to make the rings only flowers or one ring only flowers and the variegated thread making the different flowers stand out. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you don't have a lot of variegated thread or don't want to purchase any more, but you do have a lot of stranded floss or just some remnants left over and you want to try something a little new. I have a lot of old floss that I have been given or purchased or inherited and I will never use it all. So I thought this would be a way to make variegated thread and also use up supplies so I don't have to buy more. So to make these simple little rings and simple little flowers, you're only going to get usually, well, it depends on your patience level. What I started out with is cutting off from my long pieces of stranded floss, I cut off about two yards, which is you hold the end in your hand, stretch out your arm to the end, and from your fingertip to your chin twice. So a little more than two yards. Cut that off and then separate the ends into single plies. And just do this very carefully because it may tend to not. So you're going to have your piece that's two yards long or so, separate one ply out and very carefully pull that so you get just the one ply. Pull this if it starts to knot. That's why I say this is going to require some patience for you. This is a good thing to do if you're watching television or something. All right. So there's your one ply. So you put your other five or six plies aside and do that from as many colors as you want. In this particular example, this is five different strands, one of each of these colors put together. And this is a five rings only. And this is a one ring only. So you take your five different strands, hold them together, and carefully wind them onto your shuttle. And then holding them together, and slowly making your rings attach your flower. And you, depending on how much you cut off, you only have a, a, a little bit left. You can leave a tail on there if you're going to sew it onto something. Leave your tail on there to sew it on or tie your ends together securely and cut your ends off. This particular example was a, this is a <clears throat> hand painted six strand floss that I did not separate and just made a little flower. Just as a little example. Just 
just wanted to give you some inspiration and another idea on how to make variegated colored thread to tat simple rings and flowers with. Keep practicing. Thank you for watching.